Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new update for Unify Access as well as some new Unify Access gear. Unify Access 3.0 brings us some really great improvements including touch pass for our iPhone or our Apple Watch even if they run out of battery which is really cool. Also within this update, we have the ability to unlock the doors with Face ID. With this new update, Ubiquity has launched four new products, the G3 Reader Pro, G3 Reader, G3 Reader Flex, and a Mini Hub. In this video, we'll be using the Mini Hub as well as a G3 Reader Pro. Let's take a look at how I have it physically set up and then we'll get into the configuration of Touch Pass and Face ID. Before we get all this plugged in, this is the new Mini Hub and we could see on the front, we have a dry or we have the 12 volt one amp if we're going to be using electric strike being powered right off the hub. You could also see that we have exit request lock and door position. On the very top of the mini hub, we have our different ethernet ports that will be powering up our readers as well as powering up the hub itself by PoE++. Now this is a size comparison between the standard hub and then the mini hub. The mini hub is a lot smaller. Now let's go ahead and get this connected. I have a cable that's plugged into one of my switches and I'm going to plug it into the power port. With it plugged in, I have my G3 Reader Pro and I'm going to plug that into the mini hub. Now I'm just going to be using a 12 volt electric strike so we could just plug that into the lock position. So I'm going to put the red cable that's going to be in normally open. And then the black cable is going to be on our COM port. And this is the setup that we'll be using for this video to unlock our door. Now that you've seen how it's set up, let's take a look at setting up the touch pass while this door is updating. We need to go down to our settings wheel and we could now see within Unify Access that we have touch pass. Clicking on it, we could see we have 10 passes here. And these 10 passes are good for a year and they're free from Ubiquity. Ubiquity is paying Apple for these. So with touch pass after the year, it's gonna be $5 per user per year. And that is a cost to Apple. That doesn't go to Ubiquity at all. And compared to some other vendors out there, they're charging $10 per user per year. So that's double. And they're making some money off that where Ubiquity is not. But the first pass I'm gonna assign, I'm just gonna click the top one and then I'm gonna to click to assign. We're gonna see that we have touch pass. Users can add their touch pass to Apple Wallet for convenient and secure door access. I'm going to agree to the terms and then press confirm. Now I have a few users. I just created a new user called Cody 3.0 for this Unify Access 3.0. I'm going to click on it and then press assign. And we have different statuses and my status right now is pending acceptance. So we need to accept that on my phone. Now, if you already have an email associated to the users, it will automatically push out an email for them for their touch pass with Unify Identity Endpoint. I just deleted my credentials, but I'll send them again to my email and I'll show you how to set it up. Now in my email, we see welcome to Unify Identity. The credentials are ready. If you don't have the endpoint downloaded on your phone, you're going to want to do that. I already do. So I'm going to click on load my credentials. From here, we're going to set up using my phone and then I'm going to just scan the QR code. You'd see on the right hand side, this is my phone right here. And I'm going to say get started and then we're going to do it from computer. From the computer, we're going to scan the QR code. Now you can see that it's loading our credentials in for this user and it did send me a six digit code. Okay, it is now loaded and you can see right at the top, you have been assigned a touch pass. We could either dismiss or we could add this to the Apple wallet. I'm going to add it to the wallet. It says add touch pass to your Apple wallet and unlock doors by tapping the top of your iPhone or Apple watch against the access readers. Another pop-up comes up. It says add pass. Use the contact list pass with iPhone and Apple watch. The pass will be added to eligible devices to use your Apple account with express mode automatically enabled and we're going to press add. Now under our touch pass we could see that the status is activated and it's assigned to Cody 3.0. If we need more than these 10 touch passes we could purchase the passes and you could purchase as many as you'd like. You'd see right here for five users it's going to be $25 per year. We could also click on this user and we could get a history of what's been done. So Cody 3.0 added the pass to the wallet app on iPhone and we could also give them an alias if we'd like. Before we go and test the touch pass, let's enable the face ID first. So I'm gonna go over to general, and then at the bottom, we could see face unlock. We're gonna allow users to unlock the doors by scanning their face. A pop-up comes up, it says, all biometric data are securely stored locally on access readers and Unify consoles for privacy protection. Face unlock is automatically enabled on all G2 Reader Pros, intercom, 
in later models, we're going to agree to the terms and service and press confirm. Once we enable it, we also have this anti-spoofing and it will say high anti-spoofing requires users to position their face within the frame. I'm just going to leave mine on medium for now. Now let's go ahead and test the touch pass. You can see that my phone is locked. I'm just going to put it up to the reader. And now that unlocked and you can see that the strike activated. So that's really nice without even having to open up her phone. I really like that. Now this may be hard to see, but you can see a little smiley icon on the front of the reader and that's to position our face. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna position my face in it and we should be able to unlock the door. Now it's a little difficult for me to capture the face unlock, but you could see in the system log that we see Cody 3.0 entered the door with face unlock. Let's take a look at it. Now you can see my face going into the screen and this did unlock the door pretty much instantly, which is a very nice feature if you're gonna be using it. And that's gonna be it for my video on Unify Access 3.0. I really like TouchPass and think it is gonna be great for businesses. You had a multiple touch pass locations in your Apple wallet, so there's no need to have multiple different NFC cards now. Let me know what you think about Unify Access 3.0. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.